Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, namaste, hajime mashte, ni hao, assalamu alaikum, everybody out there on the internet, welcome to you, Chango Tekken, for, um, <laughs> March of 2020. <laughs> so, towards the end, it's like over halfway, to, like, yeah, the month is ha over halfway over, so it's pretty much towards the end, going to probably be a short Chango Tekken, um, but before I get to that, let me, let me go over the... <laughs> The overview here. So Chao Taken, if you don't know, is basically I have three main things I talk about. So I've got um videos I'm working on for the channel, changes to stuff on the channel, IRL stuff, and then um under videos I'm working on, subcategories, you know, playthroughs and streams, vlogs, DIY do it yourself stuff, how to's and other stuff I might be making for the channel. And the other two categories don't have subcategories because they are things that happened or didn't with anecdotes and insights sprinkled in. So, <laughs> the reason this one took me so long to do was because, um, <laughs> yeah, there's, well, there's, well, there's, like, a lot of stuff going on, and I was like, okay, well, I don't want to, like, make a video, and then have it get affected by what's happening, and then it's like, you know, because this is, like, you know, the video I make every month where it's like, okay, well, what I'm going to do on the channel is, and then, you know, there's, there's, like, so much disruption from the, uh, pandemic, I was like, okay, well, like, what happened to stuff being, say, like, I have like, I have like, like, yeah, like I have like no control over that. So it's like, okay, well, if I say I'm going to do this on my channel and then it's like, I can't do it because, you know, <laughs> things outside of my control. It's like, well, so much for that. But, um, but, okay, well, A, there's that. And then B, it's like, you know, the, the way things have gone in the, <laughs> the primary season have been just like, you know, sucking the life out of my, well, not, not sucking the life, but it's like, you know, kind of kind of deflating because it's like you know every every tuesday it's like okay let's see how things happen and, or like what happens and it's like you know it doesn't it's not going the way i would like it to be going so it's just like whatever dude i just i'm just i'm just over it it's like okay well that's a bummer and like you know <laughs> it's hard to be like optimistic and like happy or anything and just like yeah things could be are going to be so much better come november but it's not looking that way so it's just like whatever dude like yeah i don't know it's just deflating it just sucks so it's just like yeah a lot of a lot of a lot of not great times ahead um like in general because it's like everything's <laughs> on a downward trend so it's like mm, yeah but yeah as far as videos i'm working on that that probably didn't really t yeah that wasn't really good t um whatever whatever about like why am i why am I so late with this video? But yeah, but yeah. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy VII, Resident Evil 3, Destiny 2 on Tuesdays, which I am almost season pass level 100 with on Destiny 2, so um, I will be done with that game. Oh yeah, I won't be, I won't be done with it, because you know, I'll always come back, but um, you know, when the new stuff comes out next month, I will be able to just break away and play that. But then it sucks, because like the Seraph Bunkers are every two weeks they're not every week but then i'm like well maybe maybe it was like a two two weeks in between this one and like maybe it's three weeks in between the next one it's not gonna be like another two weeks who knows because it's bungee it's like they could they could just like change it and be like haha did you think it was gonna be every two weeks well it's gonna be one one's the two weeks and one's three weeks gap it's like yeah we'll see but um i have like enough bits or whatever the currency is the chips or whatever for the um the war mine bunker to level those up so or at least I should. I have a ton of them. Uh, I don't know if I have enough to get like all the Ingrams that first week, but it's whatever, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's whatever, dude. The only reason I was playing like so much this season is because I wanted to play Trials, so I was doing that. Trials is back. Trials is, um, yeah, still the struggle bus. <laughs> it's like I wasn't sure how much I would enjoy it because it's so... Yeah, it's whatever. It's a whole thing, especially if you, like you don't have a lot, a lot of people or like good people to play with in the Crucible. It's like, yeah, it's it's probably not gonna be a fun time. So I was like, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, I think last week couldn't get to five wins. This week we got to five wins. We almost got to seven wins, but we didn't have like a flawless card when we did. Well, one of us did, but we didn't get to, get to seven flawlessly. We didn't even get to seven. So that's like the new goal. Cause at first, I guess that's just like the way my pop, my like my uh, attitude is with it. Cause I was like, at first I'm like, dude. False is a pipe dream. It's never gonna happen. 
I'm terrible. We suck. It's never gonna happen. And it's like this week, it's like okay, well, see some seeing some promise. Five wins is doable. That's like the new the new goal. Like okay, well, but then I was like, I thought effing you know the armor piece would drop on five, and it was just another gun. And I was like, wait, how did I get the armor? So now I'm just like. Okay, I mean, I'm not super worried about it, because I know Bunny's going to, like, later on change it to where, like, well, now you can get armor from just the packages, because you don't even need to try, because we're going to adjust it for all the terrible people out there, because we always do, or at least most of the time we do, so it's like, I'm, I'm not super worried about it yet, and, and besides, like, you lose all your tokens at the end of the week anyway, so it's like, there's no way to hoard them and just, you know, get a bunch and then start getting packages, so you just have to play that week to get the stuff. Um, but I guess it's a good thing. It's it's a whole thing. Like they changed the boons, which is like a whole. I I kind of like don't like the way that they did that because it's that makes it a lot harder. But I don't know, man. It's like I f I feel like th there's like a not enough addressed on like fixing the player pool of who you're against to not be against the people you can never beat. <laughs> so it's like that would be great. But it's like yeah, man. It's it's whatever. So. For the most part, Charles is still fun and enjoyable, but it's also a struggle bus and rage-inducing, and like, yeah, the, the one thing I come back to that game for, for sure. Because everything else is just like, once I got to the power cap, which I'm at with all my characters, they're all like a thousand, and then, you know, the powerful drops are giving me a thousand, but I don't need them. So, I mean, in that regard, that's like a good thing, actually, because I'm, it's like a good thing and a bad thing, really, because you look at it and it's like, you know, on the one hand, they finally, I mean, they saw this like a while ago, but it but it's like it, it for sure is the proving that they did like fix the whole getting to the cap situation that they had because like it would just take forever to get to the cap like in your one destiny when like you had to do the raid and then you had to get like all the armor pieces to get your light there and then you know if you didn't get the boots or whatever piece of armor you didn't get you can never be there fully completely same thing it's like basically like that until even taking king like you had to get like all your stuff infused up and every little piece of armor get and if you didn't have like your one piece it would just like hold you back from like being completely leveled up but now it's just so much there's so many more sources in the world to get stuff from but the problem is none of that stuff is really worth doing <laughs> it's not very fulfilling content it's just like okay well, i'm just doing this to get this drop and then you get it and then <laughs> you never come back and do it again it's like once i'm it's like yeah once my characters are like where they're at now and they're all a thousand and i can just be a thousand and <laughs> there's no incentive to like go back every week and do that again it's like i'm never playing gamut the rest of the season for sure and it's like i'm never running i'm not running any more strikes i've done how many strikes throughout like the whole course of destiny it's like it's not happening dude it's like if, if i've never if i've ever if i never have to run one more strike i'm never going to and yeah there's the pinnacle of, like reward system of like oh do the legendary or whatever nightfall tier or like the nightmare hunts on nightmare difficulty it's like dude the like it's like okay so like you know it's like the, the balance in between like being fun and being hard and it's like that stuff is like way too hard and it's like i'm not doing that that's not fun. That, that's not a fun time not enjoy not, not enjoying it and it's just it's just like yeah dude it's just like there's all this content in the game it's just like not in my opinion worth doing because either it's just not a fun time and not fulfilling and not enjoyable and then it's just or it's just like i don't care for it so it's like whatever dude because I think I did my like first pit of heresy, if not this week, last week, and then I did like another one this week, and I'm just like, dude, I don't really care to do this every week or like ever again, really. I mean, there's the Xenophage, which I don't have, and I could get it in that, but then it's like, that's a whole other, that's a whole other thing too in that game is like the quests and the quest steps, and it's just like, some of them are just so, just terribly, grindy of just getting the thing, and then you get to the next step, and it's just, you know, it's like kill five hundred shanks kill 500 vandals kill 500 taken to kill 500 vex kill 500 it's like it's just a quantitative step of like do this this many times it's not a fun time and it's just like the quest steps are just ugh, and like the quest design is ugh, and it's just the only reason i'm doing this is to get this sweet exotic or the thing at the end of the thing and then you get the thing and you're like was it really worth it no but i have it i don't care and it's just that's kind of how i feel about the game is like I don't care about any of this. I'm just doing it to get the thing, or like to get to the thing at the end of the the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and then like 
<laughs> but most of the time it's not worth it <laughs> which is why my like quest log is just so full of just stuff and i'm just like dude i do not care and i'm not going to bother doing any of this crap and it's just not worth it it's like it, but yeah like the reason that and the reason like that is the case is because the game i mean like i said before of um you know it's easy to get to the cap now but like you're always constantly being showered with like loot so it's like you're never in a you know deficiency or a um or a uh, deficit of like good guns or loot because it's like you're constantly getting it so it's like because you constantly have all the like good stuff or just stuff that's like constantly dropping you, tr you always have a chance of like getting something good or that you like and then once you have like you know enough of an arsenal built up of like you know guns and weapons and armor and stuff that you like to use or that you prefer it's like you know what I've, and then like yeah and then if you use if you use it all the time like me like I always I always wear the same armor and the same weapons most of the time and I don't really change them out until this season when I'm trying to get you know actual stats that are like you know good in the um like intellect discipline recovery like if I get like a piece of armor that's basically 10 or higher in those three stats like it stays if it's lower than that <laughs> it's getting dismantled and I don't need to infuse anything so it's I'm just basically looking for stat rolls now because perks don't really matter on armor because you can just put the mods in and then because that's like what the you know mod two, the two, the armor 2.0 is so it's like it's it's makes it a lot easier to just like look at it and be like is this is trash yes which most of it is <laughs> so it's like delete dismantle and i don't need to infuse anything like i said and on the weapons it's the same thing it's like well i have really good guns and then even if i get like a really good gun i'll be like hmm this smg is good but is it recluse is it better than recluse no it's like a very easy <laughs> flow chart <laughs> of like what what gun do i use for this class is this gun better mm, it's good but it's not as good dismantle or like yeah it's like it's like why would i keep this gun when i have an exotic that's way better or a legendary that's basically like so so far beyond what this gun is it's like there's no reason to, like yeah and and those two reasons are kind of why it's like why i'm playing the game now because it's like i've got all this got awesome stuff and then all the stuff that you're trying to like you know force me not force me to doing but like the like the very few things that we get per season that's like do the thing here's a here's a quest or whatever it's like mm, this is very not compelling and i guess i'll do it but it's like <laughs> at the end of the day you, then you go and do it and you're like well that was that was that was it or like you know like the um what just came out the um fourth horseman you know it's like that came out and then it's like oh I got it, but I didn't even use it after I got it. That's the other thing, dude, is, like, I find myself, like, getting a lot of these things, and I don't even use them. I'll just, like, get the, the thing and be like, all right, I got it, and, like, never use it. Like, I haven't used Force Forthman. I got got the quest, clear the quest, and I was like, okay, cool. But then it's like, <laughs> for my build I'm running, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to really need a shotgun that's full auto that's going to be empty when you basically hold down the trigger and it's out of ammo. And since it's special, it's like, well, good luck hoping that you get special to drop when you're doing whatever and it's like you know you're not <laughs> out of ammo <laughs> so it's like there's that there's a, so many like so there's so many small things that like build into that of like why you yeah like why it's just whatever dude but yeah, i'm sorry i'm sorry for like this short mini deep dive on destiny 2 here but like you might appreciate that so moving on because f that game um did i say i don't even know where i'm at dude i i went back to my notes and i was i completely went off script there but um Besides Destiny 2 on Tuesdays, <laughs> and maybe sometimes on Friday through Monday because of trials, uh, streaming it on YouTube, always, not on Twitch, but then uh, Final Fantasy 7, and then I'm going to play through that first in Resident Evil 3 because there's like a week left in the month, give or take, and then I, th I believe Resident Evil 3 is on April the 3rd, so it's like, I don't have a lot of time, but then it's like, I'd rather play through 7, which is going to take more time, and then maybe end up having enough time to play through three which i've never finished really so it's like i don't really like want to risk playing a game anyway that i've never finished and like not being able to finish it so so i'm just looking forward to the remakes next month so i'm super pumped about that um also monster Hunter, the new content update i wanted to play that yesterday but i didn't so <laughs> i will pencil that in for thursday because that's when the uh the resets usually happen in that game for the uh, Celestial Prince, which I always log in to get the weekly quest done. I don't stream those anymore because it's like whatever, but now that there's new monsters, I will for sure do that this week uh, and clear them both once. And then that's that because basically after that, it's just grind or not grind. Well, it is kind of grinding them because you're just doing them over and over to get the uh, weapons and armor parts to make things for those monsters. Um, there's some control DLC coming out soon. 
and I got the edition that had like the expansion with it so I already have that whenever it comes out so uh, actually you know what control is gonna be on the like bottom of the list cuz I'm not really worried about it and I can come back to it whenever and I haven't played it in a long time so I kind of forgot how it works <laughs> and how the controls are I guess before I continue I would like to point out the green on the bottom I completely as you, as we can see I didn't fix it so I'm not sure what's wrong with my webcam or my computer I'm not worried about it I, I have a feeling it's a power supply honestly because if there's a lot of um like weird sounds my drives make when the com computer boots up and I'm just like it must be the power supply but then no way to tell so <laughs> like a that and then b it's like i, I kind of haven't really ordered anything because it's like you know that yeah so so it's it's whatever it's whatever um so yeah top five games of the year i've been mentioning that like the last couple months i still want to do that i just haven't got around to it and then a new channel trailer i would also like to do it just haven't got around to it so yeah as far as vlogs go there's still no progress on any of the vlogs I would like to do, like the House of X, Powers of X, Dawn of X stuff, uh, but you know, podcasts are back, like I said, so check out, you know, Aimless Podcasts, and Comic Book Talk Podcasts, whenever we do record them. Uh, let's see, how to DIY other stuff, nothing there, change to the channel, okay, so I was supposed to be, this was supposed to be the month where I just like uploaded stuff and I didn't premiere it, but then, <laughs> what happened? I ended up like not even making a lot of videos this month, so that's yeah, whatever. I, I next month I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll I'll probably just premiere stuff because it seemed like it was getting more views. Um, but then I'll probably be putting up more videos more often because I'll be playing Resident Evil and Fallout 7. So I don't know. I just it's like I need a month to give like the to like just uploading stuff a trial run compared to the premiering stuff but it's whatever so huh. um but yeah because i don't have good data i can't really compare the two and be like oh well premiering looks so much more blah 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 but because of like the month i did do premiering and it was more versus when i did um uploading it's kind of like i mean it is like a not enough data like more dead to need more data needed to you know say that this is the way to go but i'll just keep going with premiering until i have another month that I want to actually c compare the two because I don't want to like use next month and then see that you know just normal uploading doesn't do as good when that's like when the month when two games that I'm really look looking forward to playing and like putting a ton of kind of content ton of wow putting a ton of content out for are um let's see <laughs> so IRL stuff so I don't know if my phone was like broken last time but it it probably was because on here it says got my phone fixed but uh, basically what happened was like the screen was like it was like coming out of the phone and then I thought there was an issue with like it coming off the screen coming off of the phone um, but that wasn't the issue like the, apparently the battery had like mushroomed and like uh, got swollen or just like bloated to the fat like to the point of like it was pushing the screen out of the phone and then um, I took it in to get fixed, and luckily I didn't have to get a new phone because I was like stressing. I was like, "Crap, do I have to get a new phone?" Because this, this is kind of some major damage. But then it wasn't the screen; it was just the battery. So they just replaced the battery, and it's yeah, everything's cool with that. <laughs> and then the other IRL stuff thing I have is coronavirus <laughs> because what the f? <laughs> what the difference a month makes, right? It's like you know, last month I don't even think I mentioned it, and then um here we are in the middle of a global pandemic but luckily for me i was like already i was already preparing at the end of last month when uh i believe the world health organization said like it, it was an international international emergency they hadn't actually called it pandemic yet so i was basically stockpiling um canned fruit because <laughs> it's cheap and i like fruit so yeah so i had like um like two and a half week weeks worth of of uh, canned fruit, I almost had 42 cans, which would have been 7, 14, 21, 28. Yeah, because that's cause that's basically two cans a day for four for two week, two weeks to 7, 14, 21, 28. And then if I had would have had 35, 42, that would have been you know enough for two cans a day for three weeks. <laughs> but I only had two and a half weeks. Or wait, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. 
yeah, like two and a half weeks. So, but I I had other things too. So it's like you know I basically just like ate through everything else that wasn't that, and then and now I'm on uh, my can manner and oranges. I have like twenty six, I think I want to say, but I'm stretch I'm stretching it out even more because um. It's like, you know, if I can just do like one can a day, that's a month from now. And it's like, you know, like this, the, the farther I can go without having to go back outside, essentially, and like resupply. So yesterday was like the first day I went outside in a week to check the mail and I had like gloves on and stuff. So it was weird. It, yeah, everything is weird. Everything is like weird and different and like scary and new and <laughs> just like I don't want to go outside and I don't want to go shopping ever again. But I have to after my stock power runs out and I'm just like dude I'm not looking forward to it I mean the only upside is like it'll be next month so I'm hoping that like some of the hysteria will have died down but it it probably won't because you know humans are emotional and you know fear runs their brains so <laughs> I would know because I'm one of them oh, but uh yeah Ugh, man it's, it's just a bummer it's just like yeah um actually speaking of that I did want to bring that up in my Chang with Tegan because Basically, because I've only played like Destiny this month, and I'm only going to be playing like Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 3 in the next month, Final Fantasy VII Remake <laughs> and Resident Evil 3 Remake. So I'm, I'm basically just going to like put it out here on my channel, and then in the I'm, like, I'm going to put a community post after it, like as I upload this. But um, if there's any games that you want me to play through or stream on my channel, just put it in the comments or put it on the community post, and I will just uh, you know. Try to try to make the world a better place by you know play, making some videos of the stuff my subscribers want to see, and then I will put a video. Um, I guess I'll put the video at the end of this video. What the hell? How far are we in? Twenty two minutes. Eh, you know what? F it. I'll do it. It's like I'll put a video at the end of this video where I go through all the videos on or not the videos, all the games on my PS4 and then Xbox One, and then uh, yeah, it's like I can uh. I mean, there's like two exceptions. There's two games I will not play. It's like I will not play Fortnite and I will not play Minecraft. So it's like those two games. No, <laughs> everything else is on the everything else is on the table. As long as it's like a finishable, you know, you can actually play it to the end and there's credits game. Um, so yeah, but I will put the uh, because on PS4 since it's like you know got share button, you can just stream stuff stuff or whatever. Same thing with Xbox One. I mean, you can use the Twitch app, it's not as good as PS4, but it's like, whatever, dude. I would do all my other stuff, but it's like, I don't feel like hooking up anything retro, and I'm basically only play playing PS4 at this point, so. And some Xbox One on the side. I haven't gone back to play the um, Fantasy Star Online 2 open beta this week, and I need to do that. So I'm, look, I'm gonna try to do that, and then put that on the channel at some point. But yeah, like I was saying, there's gonna be a video after this, where I just go through all my games on PS4 and Xbox One, and then, you know, if you see something on there and you're like, oh man, I wanna see you stream that or play that, then leave it in the comments. And I'm also gonna put a community post for of it too. Um, but yeah, that's basically that, because <laughs> everybody's pretty much stuck at home. <laughs> I mean, not everybody, but it's like, almost. But like, you know, if, or everybody, that <laughs> everybody that is like doing what they're doing or that or I'm sorry everybody that's doing what they should be doing is stuck at home and just sheltering in place and not helping uh, flatten the curve and you know keep everybody safe so or you know our elder elder older population so yeah um yeah that's it for this channel taken that's a lot of <laughs> man what a what a what <laughs> things change right it's just yeah <laughs> It's, it's, it's yeah it's whatever i could i could like, go into like a whole spiel about it i'm just into there whatever so yeah um still haven't yeah like i said i haven't figured out the whole green bar but i'm gonna leave it in it's whatever i just whatever i don't i don't know why i can't fix it and i'm not gonna worry about it so um that's it for chamber tekken and then there's gonna be like i said the video after this where i talk about the um you know the games and like any that you want to see me play just like go ahead and put a comment about whatever and i'll try to at some point in the next 90 days <laughs> or 18 months because <laughs> that's oh man it's yeah that i'm not even gonna go into it man it's just it's such a depressing time because it's like we had like on the podcast on aimless podcast we had like a whole like commiseration talk for like an hour before we actually recorded this week and it was like our child was like man taking you should have like recorded that that was great but like 
I was like, dude, it's like, ask, the, ask me to push the button, and we would have got it, but we didn't get it, and it was just like, ah, so, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that, that's it for this, this uh, channel taken. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share it with your friends or not, that's cool too. Um, gonna have a, com a link to, like, you know, my Twitch, my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that crap in the thingy at the bottom, so, you know, feel free to, like, click on that and join me wherever on social media. Um, but yeah. But yeah, until you see him again, thanks for watching. And now, send it off. Hello, Internet. So yeah, um, chatting with Tekken, supplemental video for the PS4 section of uh, games and stuff. So like I said, anything in here you want to see me play or like stream on the channel, just put in the comments, except for Fortnite and Minecraft. Not doing it. Um, so yeah, I'll just go down the list. I'm not going to read all of these. And yeah, just give some commentary, I guess, while I do it. So let's start at the top. Also, this is broken into two sections because um, on the games, it's basically the games that are on my external hard drive that are downloaded right now and then purchased are like all the games that I own, but I don't have downloaded. So two different sections here. Uh, this is also like some of the free plus games lumped in here. But they're all in the purchase section or in the game section, so it's not gonna. Be, well, actually, they're in here if they're not downloaded. So it's. I don't have to go through all three of these, just two. But yeah, here we go. Um, let's go down the list. So if you see anything, just leave it in the comments. I'll scroll every each game, but I will not be saying each game's name because that would probably take longer than it needs to take, and I'd end up talking about each game or a bunch of the games I like. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to, like, say anything because I don't want to, like, make anybody's decision uh, biased or put any thumb on the scale. So, you know. It's it's really hard, though, because I'm looking at all these games and it's just like, dude, I want to say something, I want to talk, I don't want to, eh, but it's like, no. No, this is for the viewers. Shut up, Tekken. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just shut your mouth. I mean, some of these I've already done some playthroughs of, like, you know, Days Gone, Death Stranding, Destiny 2. Devil May Cry 5, my favorite game of last year. Or I guess, yeah, it's weird. It's it's like weird because like I would say it's the best game of last year. It's like could I also say it's my favorite game? Because that's like two. That is like two different things, kind of. You could you could say it's two different things, but like I would say it's both my favorite and the best game of last year. If I already played through it on the channel, I, just, I haven't done uh, Bloody Palace DLC, which is weird because it's like I was looking forward to it and then I just kind of lost any enthusiasm. Ah, see, now I kind of want to do a video where I, like, I just go through and talk about all the games. And it's just like, dude. Or, like, one, I think one game per video, right? It's like, just, it's weird. Like, I'm doing this as I'm doing this. I'm like, hmm, this could be a thing. This could be some content. Like, I, I just thought of a name, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want anyone to steal the name. So it's like, hmm, I might do that. But then it's like, eh, eh. Because I do also want to, like, eventually do, like, video reviews this year. But I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Because that's like production and like editing and just like stuff I've never been good at or just like haven't took the time to do or get good at, so. Ah, <sighs> Lost Fear. Man, it's like I really liked I Am Setsuna, but uh, Lost Fear I just didn't finish playing. I just played it for a bit, put it down, didn't come back to it. Same thing with Shadow of War, man. It's like I never got into uh, Miller's Shadow of War, played it for, actually I didn't play it, I, I really enjoyed the uh, one that came before it, <laughs> I can't think of the name now, that's the, <laughs> the predecessor of Shadow of War, what is it called, or, I don't know, it'll be, it'll be in here somewhere and I'll point it out, but yeah dude, I really enjoyed that one, I mean it was just Batman combat, but like M rated, so it's like, you know, you were just super brutal killing all the enemies as opposed, as opposed to just like knocking them out as Batman it's like no nah, dude you're like straight up executing people and just like the, it was some brutal combat of just like how you kill people it was great I loved it it was just like ah oh, yeah it's like we don't have to like take liberties because it's a character that's like you know <laughs> that's worth billions and billions of dollars that we can't do this to to blah 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 reasons and it fits within the universe dude those orcs man 
Have you seen what they've done to to, to the people of Middle Earth? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got theirs. That's all I got to say. Man, I do want to play some Taiko no Tatsujin, though. I haven't played that on stream, but I'm pretty sure if I played it, it would get content ID'd from the music, so it's like, you know. I mean, that being said, it's like, whatever, dude, it's worth it. It's like, I'm sure there's like some happy fun times jams in there. I'm just like, hey, yeah, that, I hear that song and it makes me happy, so I should play it. I'm going to for sure be playing through uh, Last of Us Remastered and Last of Us Left Behind Remastered when uh, Last of Us 2, like the week before or the week or two before. That's not a long game, Last of Us, so it's like, yeah, I'm just waiting, you know, just, just biding my time. Division 2, man. Division 2, ah. It's like I thought that would be the game that would get me off of Destiny, but then I played it and I was like, this is not as good as Destiny. It's weird. I was like, dude, it's only three bucks though, so it's like, you know, worth, worth, well worth the money spent. But, uh, yeah. Wow, now it occurs to me that I'm not sure if there were any of the titles on the games because I was just like talking and scrolling that like were not, or that were like too long. And so you might not have like seen the whole thing. <laughs> so it's like, hopefully that wasn't the case. Oh, man. But yeah, that's everything that's currently on my external hard drive. So let's go through everything that's like, you know, on my account. I just haven't downloaded or I've got it free with plus. But I just haven't downloaded. I just think, yeah, I'd like to play way out. But that's like you have to play with someone else. And it's yeah, it takes coordination. Cause you have to be like, OK, well, I want to play this. And they're like, OK, well, I want to play that too. It's like, OK, well, when when are you free to play this? It's like, oh, well. If our, if our schedules don't match up, I guess I'm never playing it, which is why I've never played it. Whatever. I played, um, or I started playing Banner Saga on Game Pass because I wanted to play it, and I didn't want to play it on PS4 because I wanted to stream it eventually, but that game is pretty good. It is, I, I do enjoy it. It's a different take on strategy RPGs. Oh, there's one that needs to scroll. Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. But yeah, it's it's very nice. I I thoroughly enjoy it. Cause I'm a huge fan of Final, Final Fantasy Tactics and strategy RPGs. So anything that's like in that vein, and it's like different enough. Cause there's really only three stats. I can't. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a couple weeks ago I played it too. So I'm like the fact I'm forgetting this. I'm just like, dude, Valkris, whatever, whatever. Dark Cloud, man. Ah, Dark Cloud two. Man, the, like seeing some of these PS2 games on here just makes me man. Just like, if all the PS2 library was available today, I would buy all those games. Just such a good library. So many good games. So many games have like never been revisited, or that like you know franchises that died that were just like so good at the time, or just had like interesting mechanics or you know elements to them that have not been revisited. Devil May Cry, one of those games. <laughs> Was that a launch title? I don't think it was a lot, quite a launch title, but it was definitely in that era. Del My Cry, man. So good. <sighs> it's, <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm going to, like, stop myself because I'm about to go in a spiel of just, like, 3D action combat games and just, like, you know, the fact that, like, in between DMC and DMC5, like, you know, <laughs> it's, like, it is, it is the God King that is, like, in my opinion, not been dethroned. I mean, you could you could make a case for God of War, you could make a case for Batman, but nah, man, just the bar is so high. The bar is so high, the skill ceiling in that game, like, it just, ah, when you get as good as you can, and it's just, like, you crank up the difficulty and, like, the enemies, and just, like, you're just able to, like, just decimate. It's, it's so good. It just feels so amazing. It's just so few games do that, and it's just, like, you know. Speaking of God of War, <laughs> ah, that was, that was a good game. That was an amazing game. But yeah, man, just like that experience of like, not only just like playing through it, you know, and like being feeling empowered, you know, like that when you're able to like to tell a story in a narrative where like the characters actually grow and like have depth to them to like some extent. I mean, it's not like the most you know <laughs> amazing storyline, but it's like you know. Speaking of amazing storylines, Horizon Zero Dawn, my favorite game of this console generation. I would happily replay through that if anybody wants me to replay through that, because, dude, that game is amazing. Aloy in that adventure. Ah, oh, so good. Just. 
so many good games this console generation. Yeah, I just want to say that too. I would, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, just, yes, yeah, the Jack stuff, and I'm just, I just talked about PS2 stuff, and it's like, yep. Better than PS4, PS4, better than PS2, or, mm, I would make, I would make the case it's not, but it's like, you know, that's just me. The games are good, and like, you know, there's better games and more of them, but, actually, I wouldn't say there's more of them. It does seem like there's been, like, after the consolidation, and like, you had, like, so many mid-tier and top-tier publishers just, like, go off a cliff from development costs and just shut down. I mean, it's, it's definitely like an era of refinement, I would say. Like, games on the whole are better. Even even though, like, in the AAA space, there seems to be, like, less of them, or, like, what you're getting is, like, sequels and whatever. Like I said, Metal Earth Shadow of Mortar. Yes, that was the one. That was the game before Shadow of War, but yeah. The <laughs> which is a sequel. It's like, you know, sequels and refinement, but just, like, games that take a risk or do interesting and neat things. In the indie space there are games like that, but it's like, you know, AAA and mid-tier publishing games. Not so much. Nier's one of those games. Nier on Mono Man. That game. Whew, that game is good. I played through that on the channel. It's on the channel somewhere. There's a playlist. <laughs> if I was a good content creator on YouTube, I'd be like, it'd be able to put like the eye in the top right that like links the little thing. I just, yeah. I haven't gotten that. I'm not yeah, I'm not to that point of like, you know, editing and then like doing the stuff after it uploads of like, oh, let me put a thing here to like link to the thing I'm talking about. Uh, yep. <laughs> Plays of Eternity, I hear that's a good game. I have not played it. I think there's a sequel too, actually. It's just, yeah. It's like that in Greedfall. There's a lot of Western RPGs. Um, there's that one I can't think of. It's 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 like medieval. I, uh, dang it! I'm I gonna, I'm gonna see it on Game Pass and I'll, I'll mention it. But it's like that game is also like another one. There's a lot of good Western RPGs that are just like you know, a good like twenty plus hours of like you know you go through it and you're just like yeah that was effing amazing. I'm not sure how long. long uh, I'm not how sure. I, wow, I can't talk. I'm not sure how long that game is. There we go. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's like twenty plus hours. Mechanized Combat Combat League. Can't talk. Rise of Kasai. Mark a Cree Man. I should play that on stream just because I almost I played through actually I did play GTA three. Um so I played that like a bit when there's like a bunch of tweets out for like the twentieth anniversary of PS2 and I was gonna play a bunch of PS2 games but I just didn't end up doing it because I was too I was in too deep in Destiny man. I just I was grinding out, man. I was just like, dude I wanna play the stuff, but it's you know I gotta be child ready, so yeah. Shadow Tactics, I really wanna play that. It's like I've bought it. <laughs> Haven't downloaded it. <sighs> I should play through Shimu's games, but Shimu's kinda a, a thing of just yeah. It's very hit or miss. South Park I played the uh well, was the one stick of truth i love stick of truth so it's like i really want to play fractured but whole but have not got around to it as well i love how i'm like i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna scroll through the list of games but it's like i can't do that if there's like games in front of me and i'm just like got a hot mic it's like oh well let me let me opine on this let me talk about these oh speaking of opining look at all these star wars games because you know remember, remember that was the thing star wars games and like we haven't had how many and how many years i mean i guess we did get a uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I haven't played it. I'm waiting for that to be 20 bucks because it's like, dude, they canceled like two or three games <laughs> that were like in development. <laughs> that Amy had a game. Oh, man. Would have been amazing, probably. But it wasn't, so. It was not meant to be. And then like they re released uh, Jedi Knight 2 Outcast or something. Or like, I think that and like Jedi Academy. But it's like, I do want to get those because it's like, you know, I'd like to stream them. I was playing them on the OG Xbox before I stopped that playthrough and it's like boxed up in my closet now so that ain't happening anytime soon or getting continued anytime soon Evil Within and Evil Within 2 two games I've not played but because of the strong word of mouth I did buy <laughs> yep oh man Last Guardian I need to finish that game I started it and I got stuck and I didn't go back to it like way when it first came out 
Marker Cree, so good. Order 1886, I would say, is a, uh, you know, I mean, it's not the best game ever, but I would say it doesn't get a fair, sh didn't get a fair shake when it came out. It was, like, out when there weren't a lot of PS4 games, and so it had a lot of, a lot more spotlight and um, scrutiny, probably, than it deserved. It's, it's pretty solid. I, I enjoyed it, whatever. I'm on the liking team of that one. Titanfall 2, as good as they say, I played that really late. I think like last year, even, I played it, if not the year before, so I just played that game. But it is as good as people say, I can I can confirm. False Cybertron is amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to stop on this for a second, because, uh, you know, the War for Cybertron was great. False Cybertron is a, is a masterpiece of, like, licensed game adapted properly of just, like, mm, mwah, just, like... I believe that was High Moon Studios did a great job, like just, and then I saw the Netflix uh, series that's happening and like the trailer for that, dude. If it, I think it's in the same universe, but it's like a different, like uh, you know, story or adaptation of that, you know, universe. So I'm really looking forward to that. This was it's so good. Like I kind of like looking through all my list of games. It's like you know I see a bunch of stuff on here that's like you know I could play through these games in like eight to twelve hours. Some of these and just like it is just like a one shot. This is definitely one shot I should play on the channel because it's, it's so good. <sighs> so you know, I might just uh, I mean, it's like honestly, it's like so many people have played Final Fantasy VII and like streamed through it. That's like maybe for the rest of the month I should just like do you know, games that are like amazing one shots or just like PS2 games or just something because honestly, there's enough Final Fantasy VII in the world, right? So yeah. Anyway. Or for Cypher. Fall of Cybertron is effing amazing and like one of the best licensed game adaptations ever. I mean, that being said, I biased opinion because I'm a huge Transformers fan, but you know, so good. Speaking of so good, Uncharted, dude. Un effing Charted, just. It's, yeah. From the PS3 era. I mean, I said, you know, I mean, I would say PS2 era is like easily better than PS2 era, but then like first party PS3 era is like amazing. So it's like you have a lot of like amazing games in PS3 era that are like first party and then. PS2 is just like, you know, across the board because, like I said, there was uh, way more players in the game as far as like publishers and developers that were, had not died off. So you had like a lot more of a, uh, a variety across the spectrum of games. Whereas now it's like, you know, not as many developers and publishers are willing to take a risk. I mean, but you get stuff like Undertale, which is super unique. So I'm not saying it's, you know, there's nothing there, but uh, it was it was definitely a time to be alive. <laughs> Shadow Hearts, that series, Wild Arms, there was some Wild Arms game on PS2, yeah, it's like, you know, JRPGs also, like, I'm a big on JRPGs, as you can probably tell from looking at these games and stuff, but, yeah. Yakuza, Yakuza is a funny story for me, because I've gotten, I had, like, all of them up until, I want to say, four or five, and then I stopped buying them, because, like, back in the day, on PS2, you didn't know if they'd get, like, Western, or, um... <laughs> I said Western, I almost said Western, it's lo localized and translated, and then brought over to, uh, to which I'm gonna call it. Dude, I feel so stupid, I could just did this screen, because it has, like, the ones that you have, and the ones that you have installed, so whatever, it's whatever, dude, it's whatever. But, but yeah, that's the, uh, PS, PS4 section on the Chime with Tegan. going through the games on the list, or not the list, but, like, the games are installed on my console. Oh no, it looks like my Elgato's got like, for some reason, the screen's going a bit weird there. I, I don't know, I'm having issues across the board. It, I think it's a power supply, honestly, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here and come back with the Xbox One games. So stay tuned for that. Hello, Internet. Um, Chango Tegan, Supplemental, March 2020. Um, Xbox One games. So, a bit of artifacting going on. I already recorded this video, but it, like, uh, like the file corrupted, so I'm re redoing it. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, same thing as the PS4 video. Basically, if there's anything on here, just put it down in the comments. And I will take it into consideration. Um,. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna give a lot of commentary here because I just did this video. I tried. I was editing together this one and the PS4 one and the vlog, and I was in Vegas, Sony Vegas, and like just having issues. And it's been a day because that was like hours ago. <laughs> so 
after enough time, you know, flailing around with uh, with that, they reminded me of why I don't edit videos, and you know, I'm just kind of over it. So I'm just, I'm just whatever, man. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll get this video out eventually. Sooner, so there's that, I guess. But yeah, it's like if I can recover it and like get it to work, I'll upload it separately. But yeah. I, I'm just not going to give a lot of commentary here, so I mean, I'll obviously be talking because I'm kind of just venting right now because it's just annoying when you work, work on a video for so long, and it like, you know, <laughs> it just like <laughs> blows up in your face, and it's like, oh, yeah, okay, nothing's working, can't get it to work, blah, 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 whatever, mission failed, whatever. Um, but yeah, also like the PS4, like I don't really know how the tabs work here as far as all the games on like one page I don't know if there's somewhere you can go to like actually see them all on one because I I'll show it later but there's another place on here where I think all these are the ones I've either installed of the backwards compatible 360 games and Xbox OG games like you know Nestle Republic basically everything on this row Tekken 6 Tekken Tag 2 um but there's also like some digital games as well but there's another section that I'm about to go to that also has some stuff that I've downloaded, so... But yeah, when I did this earlier, I went into some other stuff as far as, you know, apps and blah blah blah. Like this app right here, Anime Tube Unlimited. Unlimited, if you're an anime, check it out. It's pretty good for a... I mean, it's not the best quality, but like, you know, it's just a ton of stuff for free. I don't know how it's, like, uh, flipping not illegal, because there's just a lot of stuff on there that's like subbed or dubbed that you can just get and watch and like you don't have to pay anything it's like huh but yeah yeah this is another section um so all this stuff or most of this stuff wasn't in that last section i went through it's look i think it's all backwards compatible with all these stuff but um yeah it's all stuff i could play through so like i said anything that's not fortnite or minecraft fair game over the next 18 months. <laughs> Road recovery. Road to recovery. I do want to play Jet Set Radio, so I might stream this just because that game is fun. But yeah. If I can make, if I can, yeah, it's like, this is just a, like, compared to that video I had when I was actually, like, saying stuff and talking, like, this this is just me re-recording this because I'm just like, dude, the other video is not working. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta redo this because it's corrupted file. So that's one time. But yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so out of it, man. I'm sorry. It sucks me like working on a video for like hours on a day and it just doesn't want to render or the file craps out on you. Since I'm not going off a script, I just do stuff extemporaneously. Just it doesn't fit my style to just oh, let me redo that again. What was I saying? Huh? <sighs> I mean, I guess Game Pass stuff is fair game too, kind of, but not really because I'm more in the realm of ownership because I don't really own those. Or they're just that's like a rotating library, so it could it could like change one day where it's not actually on there. I even like went into like detail on like the other video of like why Game Pass is so good and backwards compatibility, but it's I'm not happening. It's not happening this time. It's whatever. Um, so yeah, that's all the Xbox One games. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's weird. Like it says games, right? But then it says like full library, and it's like all the games owned. But then it's like all the games owned in here. <laughs> They're not the same as the games with gold games, so it's just like, I'm so confused, but these are, I believe, all Xbox One, and these are all Xbox 360? Because I haven't actually bought any Xbox One games. I've only, I only have Game Pass, so if it's less, unless it's free with Plus, I'm sorry. <laughs> unless it's a games with gold game. Uh, then I most likely did not buy it, which I don't actually even see any Xbox One games in here. Oh wait, there's Gears of War, or Ge Gears of War 4, rather. Cause I was like free, I believe, or it's weird. There's like a whole thing with Game Pass with like some 
or like there's some promotion sometimes. But like before, I mean before it was the way it is now, where it's like all the first party games are on there, so it's it's whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'm shooting into there, and check out Fantasy Star Online too if you haven't. It's an open beta. It's, it's really fun. Fun, fun and worth checking out. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm playing Forza Six a lot. Uh, just randomly, on here. Banner Saga is good. Enjoying it. But yeah, that's that's it for this. So, like I said, um, if you're interested in me playing through anything that I just showcased on the list of games <laughs> on the channel sometime, just put it in there and I'll I'll get around to it uh, when I can. In the yeah, in the now time of the darkest timeline that we're in. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that that's done, you know, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends or like that's cool too. And until you see or hear from me again, everybody stay safe and uh, help flatten the curve. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> and I'm now signing off.